Hello gamers, welcome to Gaming Daily Input. Today we'll be talking about Overwatch 2, Hanzo Hero Guide. It's going to be an interesting topic. Do stay with me till the end of the video to learn more about it. The original Overwatch has been replaced with Overwatch 2, which is now available for free. It's hardly surprising that there's a surge in new players seeking to try out Overwatch since the game was free to play. With so many heroes available, it might be difficult to decide which ones to utilize and what they can actually do. This video is for you if you're new to Overwatch 2 and want to play Hanzo but aren't sure where to begin. In no time, you'll be competing with the pros. Let's get started! Who is Hanzo? Without knowing yourself, you won't know how special and incredible you are. In Overwatch 2, Hanzo, a talented bowman, employs sniping to eliminate his foes. He's able to obtain a tactical advantage because of his ninja skills. Hanzo is a smug, tattooed ninja bowman who can be deadly from a distance. His skill set and weaponry keep opposition squads on the back foot and waiting for respawn. In a confrontation that resulted in Genji turning into a cyborg and Hanzo losing his position as head of Shimada Ninja Clan, Hanzo came dangerously close to killing his brother Genji. In Overwatch 2, Hanzo and Genji have comparable skills. However, Hanzo is far more proficient at a distance than his sibling. Hanzo's Team Role Hanzo's role in Overwatch 2 is damage. His primary duty as a member of the team is to deal the most harm to adversaries. He doesn't necessarily need to kill the most foes, but he should be providing lots of assists as you take out adversaries from a distance so that the rest of your squad can finish him off. Additionally, you can drive adversaries back and force them to heal or withdraw from a battle, losing momentum by dealing huge amounts of damage while playing this position. This aids in pushing missions and driving enemies away for your squad. Hanzo's Weapon and Abilities Hanzo has a weapon called the Storm Bow. The longer you hold down the shoot button, the stronger the arrow will be and the further it will travel. Since it only has one shot, it's typically utilized from a distance. You can shoot at it swiftly from close range, but the rounds won't be completely charged and will not do as much damage. Storm Arrows is Hanzo's first ability, which fires five arrows in fast succession with reduced damage but enough power to kill most of the foes. If an enemy rushes you or you need to get near to the squad, this skill is best employed up close. You can do damage with these from range and still be effective enough to finish off enemies that have low health. The Sonic Arrow, a single arrow with a radar on it, is another power. It highlighted the enemies in red and made the entire squad aware of their locations. If there are a lot of enemies in a room or around a corner, you should use this arrow so that your squad may rush in and see exactly where the enemies are. Lunge is the final ability, a double jump that propels you forward or upward if you're near a wall. It's activated by pressing jump again while in the air. It's great for assisting with traversal across the map and allows you to get up to higher places for sniping from afar. Paired perfectly with Hanzo's other passive called Wall Climb. In order to maintain constant pressure on the opposing team while avoiding harming yourself, positioning is crucial for the damage roll. Thanks to this passive ability, which also allows you to jump up walls and climb them, you can really climb up high to get the best vantage points when combined with the double jump. Hanzo also has an ultimate ability called the Dragon Strike. This causes a Dragon Spirit to be launched in front of him, which deals damage to any opponents it encounters and, if they remain inside, can also kill him. This ultimate's outstanding feature is that it will keep moving from where you launched it across the entire map. Dragon Strike can be used through walls because, well, spirits can pass through walls, right? Pair this with your sonic arrow to take out enemies cowering behind cover or preempt where the enemies will be and it'll pass through buildings hitting anyone inside them. Just bear in mind when summoning the Dragon Strike from afar that it can be seen easily and therefore dodged easily. If you fire it through a wall from close range and catch the enemy unaware, then this will do the best damage. How to play as Hanzo Just keep in mind that the Dragon Strike may be easily spotted and avoided when summoned from a distance. The best damage is done if you close the distance and shoot it through a wall when the enemy is unaware. You should stand back when playing as Hanzo and take down enemies who are hiding behind your team members. He's not really a character you can just go in with unless you need to finish off distracted and weak opponents and you have the storm arrows to aid you in a close combat situation. Even if they're fired swiftly, regular arrows won't be able to outshoot other heroes in the game. When using Hanzo, you need to try and aim for headshots, especially when you have the bow drawn all the way back, as this causes maximum damage and can even get you a one-hit kill. 
Because of his range, Hanzo is a strong hero who you can pair with the majority of the other heroes on your squad. Having too many long-range damage heroes on your side is the only thing you need be concerned about, as nobody will be able to get in the face of the opposing team and prevent them from moving forward if you don't. Therefore, if Widowmaker and Ana are already on your team, consider selecting Tracer so you may participate in the action. To go up high and start shoving foes away from range, you want to use the passive climbing ability and the lunge ability. With the long range ability of Hanzo, you're going to help your team a lot by weakening enemies enough to be finished off by your teammates. Using Storm Arrows to Break Defenses Storm Arrows are a great chaos maker if Hanzo is engaged in combat with an enemy hero who has a shield or wall deployed. A wall or shield are wide targets that can be easily destroyed with five storm arrow rounds because they don't require a lot of precision. Fighting against guarded opponents is not ideal, so to maximize damage and change positions with an opponent, quickly fire five shots. In 5v5 matches in Overwatch 2, as we previously mentioned, there will be one fewer tank on the map, making this scenario less often. Additionally, Zarya is a great tank hero to team with Hanzo, as her ultimate can up the chances of landing Dragon Strike if timed right. Zarya's ultimate ability is Graviton Surge, which pulls enemies into one spot. If an enemy team is close together, this move can pull them into a tight pocket and, more importantly, take away the ability to heal in Overwatch 2 or defend. With Zarya's ultimate trap set, the player can stack Hanzo's Dragon Strike to wipe a whole team. With proper training, Hanzo can quickly become one of the most effective killers in all of Overwatch 2. The player should spend time getting down his movement and practice effectively landing headshots while pacing back and forth. Always be prepared for teams to formulate a strategy to take Hanzo out if the player starts racking up kills from one spot. In Overwatch 2, Reaper may shadow step his way into Hanzo's sniping spot and wreak havoc with his Hellfire shotguns. Having an escape route and keeping the bow shooting and pointing at opponents will keep them guessing. Thank you for staying with me till the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, like and share the video. You can leave your questions and thoughts in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified when we add new videos in the future. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.